This is how you master market reversals. The three main things you need for mastering market reversals is one, your higher time frame and lower time frame PDRAs, two, displacement, and three, all you require is patience. Because a lot of you come into trading thinking it's some overcomplicated thing, but it's only overcomplicated if you make it overcomplicated. And one of the main reasons why you end up making trading overcomplicated is because you lack the patience to wait for price to come into a key level, show you willingness to reverse, and then that is where you would take the trade. A lot of you are failing in trading because you are taking every single market reversal, even if it's against your higher time frame direction or it hasn't tapped into a key level yet. And that is why you end up taking low probability trades and have a very low win rate. So let's begin with the first example. Here, if you look at the previous price action, we were overall in a bearish direction. But look at what you have here. After price came to this low, what does it do? Sell side liquidity that was accumulated here got swept and price continues higher. In the process of continuing higher, it creates a swing high which gets disrespected. That is your market structure shift. Not only that, we look at your key higher time frame PD arrays. If you start from the down close candles first, this bullish order block was created. When price displaces heavily past the open of this down candle, that is your first sign in a change of state of delivery because down close candles are supporting price to go higher. Essentially, discount arrays are being respected. This is followed through when you have an imbalance that gets created. And as you can see, that minor wick inside the imbalance respects the imbalance and then continues higher. At the same time, the same candle created a swing high which gets broken through with heavy displacement. So that is also your market structure shift. Right, again, you have this bullish order block. Price displaces heavily past the opening of that bullish order block and another discount array gets created and respected. It's supporting price to continue higher. And your final determining factor is here. You have this imbalance. But the difference between this imbalance and this imbalance right here is that this imbalance is a premium array. In a bullish market, premium arrays should be disrespected, discount arrays should be respected, vice versa if it was bearish. Premium arrays should be respected, discount arrays should be disrespected. So here, discount arrays are being respected, premium arrays are being disrespected with a full body closure past that imbalance. So look at how many confluences you have. Super self liquidity. Displacement, key discount arrays are being created and respected, key premium arrays are being disrespected, and you have a market structure shift. So price, this is where you can anticipate a reversal on the higher time frame. So with that in mind, I could say with full confidence that we are going to continue higher on the higher time frame being my four hour. Now, this is where patience and your key higher time frame level comes into play. If I remove this and drag this out, this is your inverted fair value gap. What does it overlap with? This imbalance. So that makes this imbalance a very high probability. And it's unlikely that price is going to come back into this imbalance that was down here because price has already rebalanced that imbalance. So on a higher time frame, we already met the three criteria for mastering market reversals. Key high time frame premium array levels got disrespected. Key high time frame discount array levels got respected. And we stayed patient and waiting for price to show us that willingness to reverse, right? So here, we have this key higher time frame level that we can play off of, an imbalance. If you remember, internal to external range of liquidity, or if it helps, price has two functions, seek liquidity and rebalance old inefficiency. We could anticipate for price to come back, rebalance this internal range of liquidity or your old inefficiency before continuing higher. And taking out this newly created buy side liquidity, which is your external range of liquidity. So this is where the most patience comes into play. The reason being is because your highest probability reversals will always happen off of key higher time frame levels that is in line with your higher time frame direction. However, that's not to say you can't take a short here if on the lower time frame price gives you a reversal. But this short off of this higher time frame level in comparison to if you were to wait for price to come here and wait for longs is much lower probability in comparison to the longs because the longs are in line with your higher time frame direction. Not only that, but the majority of the time, your risk to reward ratio, if you went counter trend to your higher time frame, will be lower than the risk to reward ratio available if you was in line with your higher time frame direction. You don't always have to trade every single setup. The difference between a profitable trader and an unprofitable trader is that they are able to sit out and identify where the low probability and high probability conditions are 
Once they've identified the high probability conditions, that is when they will take advantage of that and do the most of their profit taking. Because in the long run, taking high probability trades and sitting out of low probability trades will 99% of the time generate you more profit. So get out the mindset of thinking you have to trade every single day, every single setup to make money. Because all you're doing is exposing yourself to more risk. And exposing yourself to more risk in trading means there's a very high chance you give away the majority of your profits. So here, patience. Wait for price to come back into our key level. And look what it does. It comes back, the body respects that key imbalance, which is also in line with this inverted fair value gap. Now, what can we expect? Like I said, internal to external. This becomes your new drawn liquidity. So I go back to there, and then drop down onto a lower time frame. This is where your high probability market reversals comes into play. Remember, it taps into your key higher time frame discount level. And again, you will look for the same market reversal that you've done on the higher time frame. If I remove this to make it more clear, look at what you have here. This two consecutive bearish candles, it price breaks through it. It creates your higher time frame bullish order block. However, because of how large this range is, I would refine it to the last candle. And what does price do here? Similar scenario to your higher time frame. Price has a heavy displacement past the opening of that down candle, so that creates your bullish order block, and that is supporting price to go higher. Backed up with the fact that here, you also have another bullish order block that gets created, which is also supporting price to go higher. If we continue playing price out, look at the fine details in price. Imbalance. Right, price comes back, respects it with a wick, and then continues higher. So those are your fine details for your anticipation of a market reversal. So already you have your change in state of delivery because down close candles are supporting price to go higher and price is respecting discount arrays and disrespecting premium arrays such as this old low. But that's not to say this can't be your sell side liquidity or sweep. Price comes back down to this bullish order block before continuing higher. That is still a very possible scenario but that wouldn't invalidate our overall market reversal idea because we have more confluences for price reversing to go bullish then for price to continue going bearish from here. Because remember, this is reacting off of a key higher time frame discount array. So, that is exactly what we got. Price came down to this bullish order block before giving you another aggressive move away from it. So that is further confirmation that price is respecting discount arrays and disrespecting premium arrays. Again, another bullish order block gets created. So literally the same thing as the one below here, down close candles, supporting price to go higher. If we continue to play price out further, this high gets disrespected. So that is another break. And this is where you can look to enter off of. You have this imbalance, utilizing your internal to external range liquidity, literally the same thing. Yeah. Get to over there. Stop loss below this low. And I'll you look to target. Either this immediate draw, or your overall draw on liquidity. For the simplicity of this video, let's just go for this immediate draw on liquidity and play price out and see what it gives us. And as you would have guessed, it takes out our immediate draw on liquidity before taking out your overall draw on liquidity, which is in line with your higher time frame bullish direction and higher time frame overall draw on liquidity. So you can see how simple it is to master market reversals. All you have to do is focus on the fine details what key PD arrays are being respected? What key PD arrays are being disrespected? That is your first telltale sign that price is likely going to reverse. The second sign is you get displacement. That is extremely important. You always need displacement on your side when you are seeking for market reversals. Without displacement, there's no reversal because displacement shows large volume of entity joining the markets and bringing price higher. And thirdly, like I said, all you required was patience because there will always be opportunities within the markets. Because imagine if you miss this opportunity, price didn't retrace from it and tap into your imbalance. And simply after breaking this high, it just continued expanding higher to your draw liquidity. That is fine. A lot of times that will happen, but there are plenty of opportunities in the market and it's always better in the long run if you patiently wait for price to show its hands and then catch the expansion once it does so. Because that's all the confirmation you need to expect a market reversal. Here, you can literally do the same thing. Following your three criteria, we are still in a bullish order flow. Continuing on from your bullish higher time frame direction, what would you anticipate for price to do? Retrace into key higher time frame discount levels? 
before taking price higher. This could be your next drawn liquidity, and this could be your immediate drawn liquidity. Your drawn liquidity has changed to this high. Price gives you a tap into this bullish shoulder block. You can drop down onto the 5 minute now. So if I replay here, you get the exact same thing as your first example. You have the sell side liquidity that got swept. Price shows moves higher, disrespecting premium memories, retracing, respecting discount raise, such as this imbalance right here over here, and then it continues going higher. So again, down close candles supporting price higher. You have this bullish order block, and that is supporting price to go higher. So if we continue playing price out, that is where your entry could be. When it retraced into this imbalance, entry there, stop loss just below that bullish order block. And you can look to target these trend line liquidity here. As that's your immediate drawing liquidity on a lower time frame. Your closest drawing liquidity, which is also in line with your overall draw on liquidity on the higher time frame. You could either collapse your entire position here or take partials and hold the rest of the position all the way to the overall drawing liquidity. So it taps into your immediate drawing liquidity, and that would have been a nice 2.8R. And let's see if it taps into our overall drawing liquidity. In this instance, it doesn't, and that's fine. And this is where the important bit comes into play. So if I remove all of this and jump back onto the 4 hour, how many times have you seen price come back into a key level more than once and still continue higher? A lot of times, right? So just because price takes out the initial low that mitigated this 4 hour bullish order block doesn't mean it invalidates the entire higher time frame discount rate. Price could revisit a key level multiple times before it shows you that true move higher. So it's still high probability to look for market reversals here to go bullish on the lower time frame. Here, let's wait for the same thing. Sweep sell side liquidity. You always want to see some form of a sell side liquidity because it shows you that price is accumulating more longs before distributing the higher. Here, you have a swing high. It displaces heavily past that swing high, which is your key premium array level. Not only that, you have these consecutive down close candles where price displaces heavily past the open. So it creates this bullish order block and the supporting price to go higher. This is where your entry could be. Off of that newly created bullish order block, stop loss below there. Target your overall drawn liquidity or your immediate drawn liquidity being these resting low resistance here. But for this example, because this is your second tap off the four hour discount array, we could aim for this overall drawn liquidity. And it hits your take profit for a nice 5.6 R trade. So that concludes this short video on how you could master your market reversals. The three key points is your higher time frame and your lower time frame, key levels, displacement, and patience. Your highest probability market reversals will always happen off of key higher time frame levels. It's even more higher probability if that key higher time frame level is in line with your higher time frame direction. Once you get that, you drop it down onto the lower time frame and look for your market reversals. And that is where your key lower time frame levels come into play. What premium arrays are being respected, what discount arrays are being respected, vice versa. Backed up by displacement, you always want to see displacement to enforce that market reversal idea. And lastly, all you require is patience. If price hasn't shown you clear market reversal yet, do not engage in that setup. So, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below in the comments. Like always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.